Kestrel 1.1 is here with a polished UI experience, plenty of new plugins and powerful new enterprise features. Let's check them out. Now, following your feedback, we've completely redesigned filters. Previously, they were complicated queries, which could get difficult when working with multiple filters at a time. Now it's much simpler. Now you've got this user-friendly UI. Not only does this make it easier for being able to select different filter options, it's easier to navigate between the different types of filters too. You can also show and hide these different filter options so that you can only see what you need. And if you're a power user, you can save various filter combinations and then reference those later. So if you wanna use the same filters every time, you can do that with a click of a button. And if you've got a complicated filter that you just need to be removed, you can reset the filters as well to start fresh. We can't wait to hear what your feedback is, so do let us know in the comments below or in our Slack. Our no-code multi-panel editor has now extended to dashboards, so you can now build your dashboards in no-code. Just like when you build flows, you can easily switch between code and no-code, and you can also preview the charts directly inside of the UI. With dashboards being quite visual, we hope this will make building your own dashboards even easier. Apps are also getting some further customization too. Now you can add custom thumbnails to each of your apps to help you identify what each app does. Along with that, the app's catalog has also had an enhancement too. Now you can customize the top banner where you can add your company logo, a title, as well as a theme color. So now you can make the apps catalog fit your company branding. In our previous 1.0 release, we announced AI agents built into Kestra, and we've made some enhancements here to make building with AI agents even better. AI agents in Kestra can now use other AI agents as tools, which now can enable sophisticated multi-agent orchestration workflows. You can now create workflows where a primary agent can delegate tasks to other agents, where those agents are specialized in that particular area. On the topic of AI, the AI Copilot has also had an enhancement too. So previously you could build your workflows with our AI Copilot, but if you ran into a bug while running a workflow, you'd have to go back to the editor to figure it out. Now, if you have a failed task run in your execution, you can now click Fix with AI to have the AI Copilot help you figure out what was wrong with that task to help get it working in the next execution. Now, AI is great and all, but having some human intervention is just as important. Previously in Kestra, you could add human in the loop behavior using the pause task, where a workflow would pause and need to be manually resumed before it could finish. This was great for being able to add some of that behavior, but it lacked the control of how you want that resume to happen. Now in Kestra 1.1, we've added a brand new human task to give you control over your human in the loop behavior. Now you can define which users and specific groups can resume workflow executions, which means you have control over the experience. Some use cases require Kestra to run an air-gapped environment. So we've made some improvements to allow Kestra to adapt to running without internet connectivity. This includes fetching our blueprints from the Kestra API rather than external sources, hiding embedded YouTube videos from the UI, hiding sidebar buttons that are internet dependent, and making sure fonts fall back to local versions if they cannot be fetched. All of this combined should make your air-gapped environment a better experience. We've also made some enhancements to file detection triggers. So previously Previously, file detection triggers could only detect when a file was created, but now we can see new files and updated files. So now you can differentiate your workflows depending on these different behaviors. Also, it wouldn't be a Kestra release without a whole load of new plugins. Now this release has a serious number of new plugins, which now means that Kestra has over 1000 plugins included crazy numbers. Now I cannot list all of these plugins. They cover all sorts of categories. So I'd highly recommend that you go and check out the release notes to check out all the new plugins and what they do. But a few notable mentions include the brand new trigger for mail, which includes Gmail too. So now you can have workflows trigger when you receive a new email pretty neat. Also a load of new e-commerce plugins such as Shopify and Stripe for being able to automate your e-commerce. Now these plugins would not be possible without shouting out the community. A load of these plugins were contributed by the community so thank you for your support. Now there is one more thing to note about 1.1 the way that secrets and key value pairs are handled is now slightly different, which means you now need to run a migration script just to make sure that everything works as expected. 
You can find more information about this at the bottom of the release notes about how you can run this migration script. But don't worry, there's no data loss or anything. Things just might not be displayed quite right in the UI. But of course, if you have any questions, join our Slack community and have a chat with us there. Now that's all I've got time for today. But if you do want to learn a bit more about what 1.1 has to offer, I definitely recommend checking out the release notes on our website where you can read about it in more detail. But this only just touches the surface of what there is. Let me know what you think of Kestrel 1.1 and what you'd love to see in a future Kestra release. We're always open to user feedback, so let us know in the comments below or join our Slack community. And while you're here, if you enjoy using Kestra, we'd really appreciate if you could give us a star on GitHub.